I do believe that a lot of women aren't able to be ready or ready to be wives yet in our generation. I don't blame that on the women of our generation. Whose responsibility is it to do something about it? The men in our generation. Bullshit. No. The men are not responsible for fixing grown-ass women. You're responsible for fixing yourself. And if, uh, women are women sentient adults. Mm -hmm. Then they're responsible. Do they get to vote? Are they do they, do they have equal representation in this country? Yes, they do. We do. Then they ha then they have to have the guess what? Freedom comes with responsibility. You're talking. You're saying that men who are not related to these women, it's our responsibility to fix them. How do you propose that to happen in a free and open democratic society? Hey, what is up, YouTube fam? Welcome back to Richie Rich Abroad. I'm your host, Richie Rich, bringing you another video from the Kevin Samuel series. In this video, who is responsible for women acting a fool in this day and age? Before I get to the video, you know what to do. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and leave your comments below because you know I read them and I like to respond. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Ching, kick the intro, and let's go. Oh my tribe. Here we go. Hey, how you doing? I am well. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. How old are you? I'm 24. All right. Uh, you saw that. Uh, what, do you, what do you got on top? What are we talking about? Yeah, I was just um, trying to piggyback off of the last live, the woman I saw, like, the extremely high expectation and her not living in her own reality. And I think it's a really big problem with, like, past generations and even a lot of, like, city girl generations on how um, you want to manifest and create this big life in your head with no plan on yourself on how to achieve it. You can't well, look to... A lot of this city girl stuff, I mean, I don't think... They've done a lot of damage. This manifest shit has done a lot of damage. Because yeah. these women really believe this stuff. They believe it like they don't have to. They believe it's like they don't understand. Like when you when it comes to manifesting something, you gonna manifest the best man. But all the universe can gonna be able to give you is whatever is in your reach. So if you reaching out of the hood, if you reaching out of poverty, that's all you're gonna get. You're gonna reach for the man that's the best poverty kind of nigga you can get. You know, <laughs> this woman is on point. I like her already. Look, you can manifest all you want to. I know people who believe in that crazy ass shit. Oh, I'm just going to manifest it and it's going to happen. No, you got to put in, in this day and age, you got to put in the work for things to go well, for things to go right, for things to go good. You have to put in the work to get what you want. And that's the only way. That's the only way it's going to happen. Nobody owes you nothing. Nobody's going to give you nothing in this world. Yeah, uh, you make a good point. They're always worried about the manifesting, but it's always coming to them. It's not like they got to do anything. <laughs> you can manifest some BS, or can you keep it? So, uh, I, I did ask the other lady, I'm going to ask you too, um, what did your mother teach you about relationships and, and men, if anything? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Really? <laughs> No, not at, nothing at all. Uh, does she is she um, married or what? Yeah, mom just got married again. She's been married for a year, like her third husband. Mom just got married to her third husband. So what kind what kind of ideology? What kind of what kind of agenda do you think mom is pushing onto her daughter? Any anything about finding a husband? Anything about being good to a man? Anything about about taking care of a family? Being a great wife? She probably don't know how to do it herself. Uh, working on her third marriage, she probably don't know how to do it herself, let alone be able to teach those ideas to her own daughter. Who is this? Real Miss Madam. Hello, how are you? Uh, well, what's your first name? Ayana. What do you got on the topic? You're driving. Yes. What do you got? Wait a minute. Is this Biggie Smalls coming, coming back from the dead? <laughs> I think Notorious B.I.G. is in the house. <laughs> um, so I would like to say that the last woman was definitely, um, she didn't really know what she was talking about um, for her own self. 
Um, but I would like to say, though, that I do feel not all black women fit this stereotype. There are a lot of black women who do know how to cater to a man and who are worthy of being what percentage? black men. What percentage of adult black women fit this? I'm not going to lie. I think it's low. I think I think it is low. What is it? But didn't she just say there's a lot of them? Oh, I think I think it is low. What is it? Give me a ballpark. Mm, probably about 30. 30%. Yeah, this is, my, this is my, my, thing, my thing about hold on. it. Hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on. See, what are you basing that on? Um, I'm going to base that off of just watching people, listening to people into my, in my current generation, their ideologies of what relationships and How old are you are again? How old are you, you again? I'm 23. So the woman next to you is 24, and she doesn't agree with you. She's in your generation. You said 30%. She was like, no. Nah. You don't think so? No, man. I agree with her. I don't because, know. Well, for one, crazy. When it comes to this thing on, well, black women don't do this or black men don't do that. It's like, well, as soon as I feel like, my personal opinion, as soon as somebody says that, you're speaking on a statistic that you scientifically don't have no fucking idea on what you're talking about. You do not know every black woman or black man on this fucking earth to make up this statistic. So I feel like we let's do it. Okay, let's do a favor. Let's do something. Let's let's take, let's take the curse words out. Let's keep it clean. Okay. But I get your point, but you don't have to know every black woman because we're talking about we're making a generalization. And the point is how many? What's the percentage? And if the percent is half of them, if it's 50%, God forbid 60 or 70%, it's too goddamn many. That's the point. It doesn't have to be all. If it is an overwhelming majority, which it is, then it's too many. But, but see, when you say, ma'am, and I don't want to, I don't want to, when I hear you say that I don't feel like all black women do this, uh, enough of them do it to where it's a problem. Yeah, I feel like that's definitely, that is, that's, that's true. So if, if even 30%, how, what percentage of women do you think is too much? Fifty, or really it, not even fifty. Really, probably a, a number that's lower than that. But which, now, hold on, what, what, okay, no, hold on, ma'am. If the number is lower than fifty, what is it? I'll probably say about a good forty. So, I think you were. I think you knew the truth, but you, 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 you've already said something that dug a hole. That the number is already too high, even if you thought it was thirty percent. So, in this short statement, you've already countered your own argument. Enough black women are doing the things we're talking about to where it's too much. And it's not even really a color thing at the end of the day. It's like women in general. Right. Yep. It, it's becoming more and like more. You keep, you keep saying, you keep telling them, you keep saying, forget what she looks like. And it's like all the black women especially are ignoring that part when you say forget what she looks like. And they still want to argue, well, black women, well, black women, well, black women, fighting to be loved. And it's like, already love yourself, already know that you're valuable. You don't need somebody to tell you that black women are valuable. We, we have already been, are that. Our, 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 we have not been taught to value relationships. We've been taught to value individuals. Now, we that, all, let's go, hold on. Go ahead. Um, I'm sorry, not, not to interrupt you, but um, I just want to intercept on that. Because I don't necessarily think that is true. Um, I know, especially for me, the women I grew up with and a lot of the friends I associate with, we were taught, um, we definitely were taught um, basically just household structures. And What we percentage were of women were raised like early. me? Man, what, what percentage of women were raised and taught like you? Point. A low number as well. What does that be? What would that be? I would say about twenty-five percent. So, if you understand that only twenty-five percent of the women that you're talking about were raised like you, then why are you even bringing you up when you understand that you do not represent the masses? Very clearly, you don't represent the people you're talking about. The people you're talking about are different from you. So, forget about your own experiences. Remove yourself 
from this conversation and let's talk about the masses and what most people do and how most people act. So every time I say something, you want to go back to this anecdotal, what you and your handful of friends do. Then I ask you one question and you have to take a deep breath and give me a number that you know is still wrong. But so do you most know, ma'am, no. You're disagreeing in your feelings. I'm not disagreeing. My really my point Do we have enough black women who are fit and ready to be wives and want to be wives now? No. Then what's the point? Why are you are oh, so my, my question is, is so my, why do we so why do we are why do we want to come in and have and throw off the conversation to talk about the people who are like you? Because she's one of those black women who is not fit to be a wife. That's why she wants to come in and argue. That's what you want to do. Well, I, I don't want to talk about the people that are like me. The point of me getting on this live is to actually point out a present issue is that now while I do believe that a lot of women aren't able to be ready or ready to be wives yet in our generation, I don't blame that on the women of our generation. As you were talking to the woman ma earlier. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Whose responsibility is it to do something about it? The men in our generation. Bullshit. No. The men are not responsible for fixing grown-ass women. You're responsible for fixing yourself. Just like the men of, of this generation are responsible for their fathers or whatever, men are responsible for addressing their issues. I. This is where we disconnect. And if, are, women, are women sentient adults? Mm -hmm. Then they're responsible. So as you were no, saying, no, the woman they, do earlier, they get, do they get to do they get to vote? Do they get to vote? Are they do they do they have equal representation in this country? Yes, they do. We do. Then they then they have to have the guess what? Freedom comes with responsibility. You're talking. You're saying that men who are not related to these women, it's our responsibility to fix them. How do you propose that to happen in a free and open democratic society? Okay, so the reason why I place the responsibility on men to that's not even what he asked you that, that's not even what he asked you he asked how do you propose men fix women in this society where women are free to do as they please that's what he asked you to not only fix the women in their generation how do you propose that happens in a free open democracy how do you how, I know, okay how do you propose that happens in a free, open, democratic society? Men have to men have to take control of themselves. How do you take control of individuals in a free, open, democratic society? I believe that men in general, especially black men, have to be able to love one another, to build up one another, teach one another morals, just like about you said, setting their standards how higher. How do men? Men have to. Set how do men address higher. this? No, ma'am. How do men take control and do anything about the situation in a free, open, democratic society? Tell us how we're supposed to control grown-ass people. That's it. <laughs> Answer this question. Riddle me this. Seriously, how do you control, how do you tell women who won't take instruction, who won't follow leads, who won't follow anybody's lead, how do you tell them what they're supposed to do and expect them to actually listen? That's insane. Starting at their birth. Man. Behaviors are tough. Ma'am, that make no, no, ma'am. Behaviors See, and I no, ideologies no, are No, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am, no. So if men no, are surrounded no, these women... Not. See, this is so, the way so they no, want no, them to no, be. I'm about to drop you and go off, man. See, if you want to have a conversation or you want to talk this shit, you're not going to just talk over me. You're talking about men are supposed to take control. And then when I ask you, how do you do that in a free, open, democratic society, you say starting from their birth. These men, the only way that happens is if she's married to a man, their children are in the house, and he's her father. I agree. <laughs> Okay, but that's not what we have today. We have eighty percent of our children are born out of wedlock, and that's the women's choice. But no, that's not the women's choice. That's the it is a woman's choice. choice. You got damn right, it's a woman's choice. It's absolutely a woman's choice. You're the one who picks the man in the first place. 
You're the one who opens your legs to the man in the first place. You're the one who doesn't demand that he offers you marriage in exchange for what you offer him in the first place. You're the one who decides to have that baby, to bring that baby to term in the first place. You're the one who decides to leave that man. You're the one who decides to leave that man who impregnated you in the first place. How is that not your choice? Choice. They woman decide. Women, women have the ultimate choice on who has sex and who gets born. Men have no rights after conception. Yes, they do see, because no, men they don't. don't have to. No, ma'am. See this? No, no, no. See this is what I mean. This is this is more, more that emotional shit. How can I'm they? Sorry, men, I'm sorry. I'm not an emotional so argument. Being logical. Men, men, men have no control over who gets born. If I wanted to have a child and you wanted to abort, can I force you? Yes or no? No. No, you cannot. No, you're kidding. you can and if sign you your rights abort, away. And if you wanted to have an, if you wanted to, and if you wanted to have the child, and I wanted you to abort, could could I make you? No. No, you cannot. But no, you I have, you didn't have you to have, have sex with me. No, ma'am. Simple, 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 simple. If simple, I did not, simple, simple, you, simple. You simple no, you won't over talk. You won't over talk. Simple logic is, ma'am, women control at who gets born. And 80% of our children are born to childless homes, fatherless homes. That is women picking to choosing to be pregnant before they get married. It is very simple. You want to reduce the out of way life uh, birth rate? You marry before you care. Boom. This is I not agree. new. So it's I women's agree. choice. Well, you can't place that solely on women. But now you're moving the goalposts and you're changing the narrative because you started off saying that it's completely men's responsibility. And now you're saying, oh, well, you can't place that responsibility solely on women. But now, so you're acknowledging it is women's responsibility. It is at least in part women's responsibility. And right here and now, I'm going to say that men also have a responsibility in it. You can't put that all on women because women, because men, we have to have dick control. If you don't exercise dick control. Can I even say dick control? I'm going to say it. You have, nah, okay. You have to control where you put your penis as a man. You have to control what you do with your penis as a man. We also have a role in this and a responsibility in this too. It is not solely the women. Yes, we can. No. Yes, we can. So basically in your world, women are children. I'm sorry? So basically, in your world, women are children. It's always somebody else's responsibility. No, 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 no. Then who do we I place it on? Woman. Who do we place it? Okay, when a woman decides to have a baby outside of wedlock, who do we place it on? That woman. Thank you. But we can't. We can. Okay, so I would say majority of the blame is on the woman because mm -hmm. if it were up to me, so when your mother, when your mother and father married, when your mother and father married, I'm sorry. Your mother and father, were they married? No, but I grew up with my grandmother, and she's been married okay. for 52 uh -huh. years. So, so, and your grandmother's generation. So, basically, your position is it, we can't blame the women for what the women do. No, I'm not saying that at all. Well, ultimately, whose responsibility is an individual's act? Who, who owns the responsibility for individual actions? A person does, the individual. Right. So, ultimate responsibility lies with who? The, the who? person who's doing the, the individual. Thank you very much. In the beginning, she started this argument saying men are to blame, but now she circles back and completely contradicts what she said earlier and says it's the individual's choice, which it is. We all make choices that are sometimes beneficial for us and sometimes they're detrimental to us, but we make those choices and we got to live with the responsibility and take accountability for the choices that we make. It's that simple and always will be. So you're, you just undercut your argument. Again. I haven't undercut my argument. Yes, you have. You just don't. You you have. You just don't know you've done it yet. Can I? Can I please? You've already undercut your argument. You just don't know you've done it yet. You're just okay. talking at this point. <laughs> so look, once again, another woman comes on to Kevin Samuel's show and just wants to argue. I don't know if you just want your 15 seconds of fame, but you come on there just. To argue and your argument is completely disingenuous and it makes no sense. It's absolutely asinine. We all are responsible for the decisions that we make with our bodies. If I know that a woman can get pregnant, I put my penis inside this woman, ejaculate inside of her. I know that I am taking a chance 
on impregnating her and her having my baby. As a mature adult, I understand that. And that is my choice whether I choose to do that or not. I choose not to do that. Just the same, it is a woman's choice to choose not to choose. She can choose abstinence. She can choose over 30 different kinds of contraceptives. She can choose to use condoms. She can choose to, she can choose the man that she allows to be inside of her. She can choose whether or not he ejaculates inside of her. She can choose whether or not she wants to have sex at all. Women have a lot of the choices. And yes, if you are objective, it is easy to say women bear the majority of the responsibility in bringing children into this world. Yes, a man must take part of it and he has to, and we have to be accountable too. But don't tell me you're not responsible. Don't tell me it's the man's responsibility because that's just garbage. Anyway, let me know what you think. Is it the man's responsibility? Is it the woman's responsibility? Is it both? Let me know what you think. Leave your comments below. You know I like to read them and I like to respond. If you like this video, you know I got some other videos that are just as good, if not better. So check those out too. I'm Richie Rich for Richie Rich Abroad. I'll see you in two days. Until then, deuces.